Hey y'all, I am starting with semi-straight hair and the first thing I'm going to do is part my hair straight down the middle and then from there I'm going to part it from ear to ear. Now using that middle part as a guide, I'm going to part on both sides of the middle part to create just a little small section for me to install a cornrow going straight down the middle of my head. Before I start braiding, I'm going to use some Murray's Edge Wax on my roots. Okay, I plaited that all the way down and this is what the middle braid looks like when I'm done. Now I'm going to start on the right side. I'm going to part my hair right where my brow ends and then I'm going to start on the second braid. Now the second braid is going to be a waterfall braid. So when, when creating this braid, you want to make sure you stay on the outside edge of your hair, of that particular section of hair. So here I am staying really, really close to my hairline and I'm going to continue that all the way around, like I said, on the perimeter of that particular section because you want it to have that waterfall effect. All right after braiding about three-fourths of the way down I'm going to secure it with a rubber band and then start on the next braid. And this is just going to be another braid going straight back just as I did the middle one. And then I'm going to recreate those same braids on the opposite side. Now moving on to the back, I'm going to be using some of this um, olive oil smooth and hold pudding to kind of slick my hair down. This is um, a style created with no gel so you don't have to worry about any product buildup. I want to use something light so I decided to use the smooth and hold pudding. It is one of my favorite products. Alright, so once I've applied the smooth and hold pudding, I'm just going to add the ends of the braids to my ponytail and then use a hair tie to put my hair in a ponytail and you kind of want to do this as tight as possible but not you know causing too much tension on your hair then I'm just going to clean up my edges a bit Now I'm going to tie my hair down for a few minutes while I continue to work on the back section. Now I'm going to plait my ponytail and then secure the end of it with a rubber band. Then I'm just going to tuck and roll it into a bun and secure it with a hair tie. To create my ponytail, I'm going to be using some clip-ins that were sent to me from Her Given Hair a few months ago. 
Now, I'm not going to be using one clip-in at a time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sew the ends of the clip-ins together to make one long weft. This is going to make it a lot easier to wrap around my ponytail. So here, I'm just putting the needle through the um, ends of the clip-ins and sewing them together. And I think I sewed together four or five clip-ins. So this is what my weft looks like after sewing all of my clip-in pieces together. I'm going to go ahead and remove my scarf and then take that one long weft and start wrapping it around my bun. So I'm going to start off by securing it with a hairpin and then I'm going to proceed with the wrapping. And once I get to the end of the weft, I'll secure it again with another hairpin. Last step in creating my ponytail is to take one little small section of hair and then use that and wrap it around the base of the ponytail just to make it look a bit more natural and to hide the whiffs. All right, now I'm going to spruce up my hair a little bit by applying some leave-in conditioner just to make those curls pop and add a little bit of shine. And then I'll just fluff it with my fingertips. And now I am all done, and this is the final look. I really, really love how it came out. This is a great way to install a super sleek ponytail without having to use so much product on your hair. You can easily go in and freshen this look up by just redoing the front braids, and you're good to go for another couple of days. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button if you enjoyed, and don't forget to leave any comments or questions below. Thanks for watching.